hey hello guys in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can upload file to your mega cloud storage using only terminal okay guys so if you are using kali linux if you are using ubuntu operating system or any other linux operating system you are using on your pc as well as on your on your android phone so you can follow this tutorial and in this tut with this tutorial you can easily use your terminal to upload your files to your mega cloud storage if you don't know what is mega so mega it is a cloud storage which provides you free 20 gb of storage for free so first of all open your chrome browser and type upload file to mega mahesh technicals and you will get this article link so open this article here you will find all required commands which we are going to use in this video okay so first of all we need to install some packages to perform this task so for that first we need to install rc clone package okay so it will help you to upload files to mega cloud storage so first of all copy this command and paste into your terminal it will update and upgrade your packages to your linux machine so wait here okay after that just down download and install wget package After that you need to understand what is your which is your architecture of your computer okay so first for that just type this command lscpu and press enter then check here scroll up check here which is your architecture so my architecture is x86 underscore 64 it means it is a amd processor guys okay amd 64 processor you can see in the screenshot as well okay so if your processor is amd64 processor so you can use this command if your arm processor use this command if your arm7 use this command if your arm is 64 then use this command if not available here then click on all releases and your, you will get all the files there so my processor is amd64 so i am going to copy this command and paste here it will download rc clone package on your system okay so you can see it downloaded then let me clear the screen less ls and you can see rc clone dev file is downloaded successfully so now we are going to install this package into our linux machine so for that we need some commands so you can use dpk dpkg install command so let me install our rc clone package for that just type this command then type rc and press tab button and it will auto fill your file name now press enter guys and that's it it install successfully for checking you can type rc clone space dash v it will show you rc clone current version which is installed on your system so you can see i have 1.59 version of rc clone so rc clone is successfully installed on your system so now we are going to configure our mega cloud storage with our rc clone so we can easily mount uh, and upload files to it so for that we need some commands so first of all you have one mega account if you have then good if you don't have then create after that just type this command rc clone config you can see i already created a config remote so i am going to delete this i will create from scratch so for that just type n to create new remote then type the remote name i am going to give mega for the remote name then press enter then it will ask you which cloud storage you want to link so i am going to select mega so it is on 30 number so put that number and press enter
okay then it will ask you for username and passwords so just type your email id of your cloud storage which is mega cloud storage then it will ask you to you have password or auto generate password so i am going to type y because we have password here so type y and enter then we are we need to paste your mega cloud storage password okay mega account password two times then it will ask for auto config so type no and then it will ask you all the details are proper so type yes it is proper then that's it your mega storage is now created now type control c to exit the screen now your mega cloud storage configuration is successfully done now let me show you how you can upload files to mega using rc clone package for that you need some commands so it is only one command so use this command okay so let me show you how you can perform this command for that where uh, go where your file is present so i am going to upload rc clone dev file which is downloaded before so let me show you how you can upload that just type rc clone then type copy then dash p make sure p is in the capital letter okay then type file name which you want to upload so my file name is this then type remote name with colon that's it you can see the command then type enter it will start uploading your file to your mega cloud storage i'm using vps so my internet is so fast so let's open mega application let me check our file is uploaded or not you can see my file is successfully uploaded here so with this way you can easily upload your file using terminal okay so now we are going to mount our mega cloud storage to your terminal because we don't need to open mega application or mega website to check our file is uploaded or not okay so we can check this into your terminal also so for that just create one folder in your file system so just you can manually type or you can paste this command mkdir mega so it will create mega folder in your storage after that just mount this folder with your mega remote for that just type this command or you can manually type okay you can copy paste or manually you can type so i am going to type manually so type rc clone then type mount then type remote name with colon guys okay then space then folder name that's it then uh, then press enter and it will start mounting that's it then don't close this screen just open new terminal again second terminal so you can see i am not closing previous tab and i created one more terminal here so just type df space dash h it will show you your all storages you can see on the last tab mega folder mounted with 20 gb okay so you can go to cd go to mega folder and you can see our file is present here which we uploaded on our cloud storage so you can remove this file here we using rm let me remove and i'll show you how you how this works you can see i removed now you can open your mega application and you can see we easily removed our file from mega storage okay so it is very easy process guys so now you don't need to use mega application to uh, check your file is present your file is deleted or not you can easily copy paste move easily from your terminal you can delete also let me show you one more file now we are going now we are using move command not uploading command okay 
so let me type move and I'm, I'm going to move a.txt file to make a cloud storage so I'm going to use this command then go to mega folder again let me check file is present or not you can see a.txt is present so you can now move copy paste delete etc all the things with your terminal you don't need any application now okay so you can see our mount uh, mega storage is mounted right now so let me control c and it will cancel it means it will unmount your mega storage if you want to unmount then check again df space dash h you can see our mount mega storage is unmount now successfully so with this way you can easily upload files copy files move files to your mega cloud storage using our linux terminal only so follow this guide if you have any questions in your mind you can ask me in the comment section below so we will meet in the next video guys so thank you so much for watching guys we will meet in the next video so follow and subscribe my channel